Good morning, my name is Ray Sidler and I will be addressing the question, how are the limitations of students' rights and illustration of the First Amendment in U.S. public schools? To start off, I would like to discuss the First Amendment. Within the First Amendment, it states that we have the freedom of speech, religion, press, petition, and assembly. However, in U.S. public schools, they seem to limit students on what they can say, express where, and what they can share within the legal grounds of the school. My first example of this is in the court case Tinker v. Des Moines Community School District. Two students, Mary Beth Tinker and Christopher Edgar, on the same day, wore these armbands in support of the truce in the Vietnam War. The school threatened to suspend any student wearing these armbands, and that's exactly what happened to Mary and Christopher. They were both suspended, and later Mary's brother John was also suspended the next day. The parents took this in, into court, and the court in the end ruled in favor of the students seven to two in conclusion that their First Amendment rights were violated by the school. My second example is in the article by Stephen Marcias, Idols and Identity versus the First Amendment Set Trial and Speech Rights in Public Schools. This article discusses the rights and needs for alliance clubs and the lack of alliance clubs within many public schools around the U.S. It states that we have that students have the right to express their sexuality and who they are along with clubs and alliances publicly proposing this as long as it is peaceful and doesn't harm any other one. Student and is respectful of the school itself. My third example is an article by the authors Helen Lee, where in, in 1984, a student by the name of Scott Germino and his friends proposed the idea of creating a Bible study before school held in a classroom. The principal was not in favor for this idea and denied the request. It took 10 years for the court case to finally be solved, being put through the Supreme Court twice, and by the time it was finally passed and allowed in the school, these students were already in college. The effects that, that limiting rights have on students is great by making students feel voiceless and powerless in, in a public education system. If public schools' goal is to create is to create successful young adults, limiting rights this early on limiting their rights is not helping the situation. It's only making it worse and making students feel as if they can't express who they are and use what they're learning to express their opinions. Others may argue, such as in the court case of Tinker versus Des Moines, such as Hugo Black did, argued that the black armbands were a distraction to the students and, and interfered with the jobs of the school staff. However, in the uh, regulations by time, place, and manner, it states that students have the freedom of all their rights if, when considering when they do it, where they do it, and how they do it. This means that as long as they are, students respect the time, place, and manner restrictions, that it should not be a, it, being a distraction should not be a concern as long as they are respectful of others. In conclusion, students should keep in mind their rights, know their rights, how to use them successfully, and, and why they should use them all in consideration with the time, place, and manner restrictions so that they respect everyone, including the school, themselves, and other students. What questions may you have? <clears throat> I have two questions for you. First up, how valid and reliable were the sources that you used, and then how do you know they were? I, all the sources were reliable because I either used EBSCO or academic peer-reviewed journals. And next question. Uh, if you had more time, what additional research would you conduct related to this issue? I would have liked to do more court cases. There are a lot regarding religion that I would have liked to go into. And I 
wanted to go more into depth about the freedom of speech and representation, but I didn't have to the time to do all that. All right, perfect, thank you.